Hi, Evan. That public health alert is meant to warn hospitals like UC Medical Center and prepare them to receive a surge in overdose patients. There aren't exact numbers when it comes to overdose deaths from this spike from the heroin coalition, but I'm told that number will be in the double digits. This deadly rise in suspected overdoses is worrying the very people who fight the epidemic. Well, I got to be honest. I mean, I'm, I'm frustrated and I struggle with this. And like many others, we wish that we had more answers. All we can do is keep trying to to deal with this. Tom Sinan with the Hamilton County Heroin Coalition says this weekend spike in suspected overdoses is the worst he's seen in years. This was kind of reminiscent of 2016 and 2017. We really haven't seen this high in a while. The program is unique in a way that uh, we really don't treat people as clients or as patients. We really are just people helping people. The Icron Corporation is one group on the front line of the opioid epidemic. For 50 years, the organization has helped people in the tri-state struggling with addiction. It says the recent spike in overdoses shows just how serious the problem is. It certainly is concerning. I mean, it's concerning to me just as a person and as a professional, and it makes my work that much more important and meaningful, my work and the work of all the other people at Icron. Icron offers a variety of services and says it's important to meet the specific needs of each person. It's also important to show people struggling with addiction that there is a way out. And that really does give them hope. They hear the stories of other people just, you know, similar to them. You know, we're, we're all people, as Randy said, people helping people, and you get to hear those stories, and so hope is incredibly important. One big challenge for people trying to get the opioid epidemic under control has been fentanyl, which Chief Sinan says was likely the reason behind so many overdoses happening in just one day. It adds an extra challenge to both the group, the coalition, and what we're trying to do. And it's been very difficult, and trust me, it's frustrating for us. We all struggle with trying to find answers. And the Hamilton County Heroin Coalition is uh, putting this information out there to hopefully save some lives. It also warns that fentanyl is starting to be found in drugs besides heroin. About half of these suspected overdoses involved cocaine. Reporting live at UC Medical Center, Josh Pazan, 9 on your side.